Hey, hey guys, here we are again, the six series. And for today's video, we are going to download and install Windows Server 2012 R2 YSO5 using our virtual box machine. Let's go, guys! First thing to do is we need to go into our web browser and search for Windows Server 2012 ISO file. Click the Microsoft website and download it 64-bit edition. Wait until it's downloaded. When it is done, open our Oracle VM virtual box, select new to create new virtual machine. Enter a name for the virtual machine and we can call it Windows Server 2012. Type Microsoft Windows and a version of Windows 2012 and then click on next. Now allocate RAM for your virtual machine. The minimum RAM requirements for Windows Server 2012 is 512 MB. But the virtual machine may not with the minimum RAM requirement. Therefore, allocate at least 1 GB. And for the hard disk, leave the default Create a Virtual Hard Disk Now option. Enable and click on Create to continue. Hard disk file type. Leave the virtual hard disk to VDI or virtual disk image and click next to proceed further. On storage on physical hard disk, now choose the fixed size option to create a virtual hard disk. And then you click on next, file location and size. Allocate the hard disk space for your virtual machine. However, make sure that the minimum hardware requirement for 64GB estimate for your Windows Server 2012 virtual machine. You can also change the what location of the virtual hard disk from the folder icon next to your virtual machine name. And select a different partition to save the virtual this image file and then click on save and click on create after your virtual disk created click settings to configure virtual machine settings go to system menu and enable input output IPIC option and then click OK. From the processor tab, you get at least two processors provided your hardware can support them. Then click on OK. Hit storage menu and click empty followed by the CD icon to select the Windows Server 2012 ISO image and click OK to continue. Select your virtual machine map and hit the start button to begin installation. It will get you to this loading file screen. So once this screen get loaded up, here select your language, time, emergency format, and also the keyboard or input method. And then hit next and click on install now. Setup is starting. In this windows, Select the OS you want to install and hit the Windows Server 2012 Evaluation 
or the server with GUI and then hit next you're going to accept all the license terms and hit the next button and to custom a Windows installation make sure to select your drive and then hit next So once it gets through the restart you will get to this screen. Then you are going to have to put a password on it. Then hit finish button. After that, you get to the login screen. So you are going to have to do a control alt delete. Enter your password that you typed a while ago and it's going to log you in and there you go and now we were going to set up our server hit add roles and features click next In the server roles, choose Web Server ISS. Add features. Hit next. And click install. After installation succeeded, hit close button, go to start window, click administrative tools and choose ISS manager, hit this, click sites, and you can see the default website. Exit. Go to Internet Explorer and try to search localhost. And that's it, it's working. Next, go to File Manager, hit Local Disk, then create new folder. And we can call it server website. Open. New and text document. And again, we can call it server website. Edit and type anything you want and then save go to start window administrative tool iss manager right click site and add website site name server website physical path and a host name of server website click ok Click directory browsing and hit enable. And go to file manager. Locate for Windows System32 driver. Open it. Hit host. Hit notepad. Copy localhost and type 
www.serverwebsite.com Save and exit Go to Internet Explorer and type for serverwebsite.com and click text document And there you go, we can see the text document that we typed a while ago. And that's all for today's video. We hope that you learn from downloading to installing Windows Server. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye! <laughs>